Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariah and today I'm going to be talking about another haul. This time it is all drugstore. And first I want to say the drugstore is really stepping it up with their makeup game lately and it's kind of hurting my bank, but it's okay because I'm going to love it all, right? At least I hope. Anyways, now just let me say that this whole haul started just because I was trying to get my hands on four new drugstore items. Got a lot more than four. So the items that I was looking for was the Milani 2-in-1 foundation. It's not brand new, but I haven't got my hands on it yet. A lot of people are raving about it. Another foundation I was looking for was the L'Oreal Pro Glow. Why is that so impossible to get your hands on? And then the other two were Maybelline products. The first was the Color Jolt Lip Paints, and then the second was the Color Tattoo Chrome Metals. So first I went to Walgreens and I found none of the four I was looking for. Then I went to CVS, couldn't find any of them. Then I went to another CVS and I found one of the four things I was looking for. That's better than nothing, right? And I know this is three, not one. This is one new product, three shades. Does that make sense? So this one is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome, and it is gorgeous. So the first shade that I bought the eye chrome in is one that I saw all over Instagram, and that's why I had to get my hands on these in the first place, and this is in Gilded Rose. I hope I'm saying that right. I'll go ahead and try and get a close-up for you, but it is a very light pink. It's almost like a rose gold type, which I'm obsessed with, so they got me there, but it's very pretty. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to open it up for the first time. So it comes on a little doe foot applicator, kind of like a lip gloss. Ooh, very pretty. So if you can see that, it is definitely metallic, which is something I've been really into lately. I think that's kind of like a new trend, but very, very pretty. It's definitely like a rose gold, more pink than it is gold, but it's so gorgeous. And I can't wait to play with this on my eyes. It's really hard to tell the color right now because basically it's just shining and reflecting the light. The other eye chrome shade that I got is Beige Luster. So it is a nice beige brown color. So this one looks a little bit darker than it did in the tube. Oh, well, that's pretty. That one went on a little bit patchy, so I don't know about that. But it's actually kind of like a purplish beige, which is very, very pretty. So there's the two. Here we have Gilded Rose, and then right here is the Beige Luster. So very sheen, very metallic. A little out of my comfort zone, but I'm excited to play with it. It is in the color Gunmetal, which I think is a really good description. I know the writing was upside down, but it's just easier for me to hold things with my right hand, guys, so bear with me. So this one is a dark black, but it has little sparkles all in it, so I think that's going to lighten it up a little bit. Let's see how it swatches. Ooh. That is so pretty. It looks black until it reflects, but then it's kind of like a blue-gray. So there are the three eye crumbs that I purchased. They also had one that was a green color, a gold color, a silver. I think I'm missing one, but there was a few more shades. These are just the ones I think I'll be able to get some use out of. Very pretty. The brown was the only one that went on kind of patchy, but once I added some more, it looked a little better. So I'll let you guys know how they do when I play with them on my eyes. So pretty. Moving on. The next one is nothing fun to swatch, but I needed them, and that is the 3D Crest White Strips, and I purchased them in Glamorous White. These ones are like the second or third most expensive one, and I think they make my teeth so white, so I really don't feel the need to buy the most expensive one, because these ones do exactly what I need them to, so I can save my money and buy more makeup. That was actually it for CVS, which is really surprising, because I buy so much makeup at CVS. It's like my go-to, especially because of all their coupons, which actually I got quite a bit of coupons for buying those. I use coupons to buy them and save some money, and then once I purchased them, I got like $17 in extra bucks. So check out CVS for things like that that you can find, especially drugstore makeup if you buy it a lot, because it's totally worth it. And CVS has a beauty program where every time you spend $50, you get $5 extra bucks, which is basically like a $5 gift card to CVS. You can take it the next time you go, and you can buy anything with it. So the next place I went to was Meyer, and I don't usually go to Meyer for makeup, but my CVS and Walgreens near me stopped carrying Milani. Shame on them, right? And so now I have to go to Meyer to buy my Milani products. And I bought three of the single eyeshadows, which are nothing new, but I have already bought Bella Chiffon, and I love it, so I bought three more colors. The first one is Bella Ivory, which is a satin matte. And this one's really neutral. It's kind of like a tannish white. Does that make any sense? Ivory, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I'm not going to open the packages up and swatch them just because they aren't new products. A lot of people have seen these already, but I'll just try and give you a close-up real quick. So that is Bella Ivory. 
The next color is Bella Champagne, which a lot of people love and talk about because it's sort of a rose gold color. And the last single eyeshadow that I got was Bella Espresso, which is just a dark chocolate with a little hint of shimmer in it. The next Milani products that I bought were blushes, and if you watch any of my videos, you know I'm already obsessed with their blushes. I really love Luminoso and Fantastico Mauve, which are their baked powder blushes, so I went ahead and bought two more shades of these, and one of them is Dolce Pink, which is a light pink with gold in it. You're going to need some sunglasses for these close-ups because this packaging is blinding. Okay, the other big blush that I got was What Do You Know Luminoso because my other Luminoso backup is now my main Luminoso, so I need another backup because I'm crazy like that. So if you already don't know what it looks like, it's a gorgeous toned down peach that I think looks good on every skin color and in every season. Get your hands on it if you can because it is so good. The other two Milani blushes that I bought are just their regular powder blushes, but I think they are so pretty to leave sitting out because they are in the shape of a rose. So they look like these and I love them so much. So I got the shade Romantic Rose. This one is like a mauve so it's going to look really good in those cooler seasons like fall and winter. And the other color is in Tea Rose which is also a type of mauve but it's a little bit warmer for those warmer seasons so it has a little bit more pink to it. Alright, two more Milani products. This one I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about it but I thought it was gorgeous and it's something that I've been looking for. I really, really, really love my Maybelline Skinny Pencil, but I just don't feel like it's that black. So I'm just trying out a few different eyeliners to try and get that really dark black that I'm looking for. And I saw this Milani Cole Eyeliner, and it is in the color Blackest Black. It says it is brand new, and it's already pre-sharpened, and it's in gold packaging. They got me. Everybody who puts things in gold packaging just, you know, the way to my heart. They know their sales. So that's what it looks like. Very pretty packaging. This will be like a mini first impression because I've never tried this out, so I cannot wait to see how black it is. And it says Supreme Cool Eyeliner, so if it's Supreme, it's gotta be good. All right, ooh, look how sharp. Nice, nice. I'm gonna do this swatch right next to the Gunmetal Eye Chrome. Oh man, that went on so easy, like so creamy. That makes me really excited. And look how black it is. That is so black, and that was with me barely pressing, so this thing might be my new favorite. Let's see if I press a little harder. Oh yeah. At the top there, I pressed harder. It just obviously got a little thicker, but it's a little darker too. And it's so pretty. Something else to leave out. I'm just gonna have all my makeup laying out in my room as decoration. That's all right. Okay, I'm excited. If you guys would like to see first impression videos or full on reviews of any of these products, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to do that for you. I think I'm already going to do a full on review or first impression of those four products that I was telling you I was looking for because there are things that are hyped up a lot and I like to give you guys reviews on things that everybody's talking about to let you know if it's really worth it or if it's something that maybe just got hyped up a little too much. So be on the lookout for those worth the hype videos. The last Milani product that I got was one that I told you I was looking for, and it is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. So this has a concealer and a foundation in it. It's supposed to be amazing. I'm going to try it out. The color that I bought this in was medium beige, and I feel like I have the hardest time picking out foundation colors because sometimes I'm self-tanned and sometimes I'm not, and the difference between the two is a lot. So I never know if I should go with something more my natural skin tone color or something a little darker for when I'm self tan because sometimes I get lazy and I forget. Ah, <sighs> the struggle. So you know what my answer was? I buy both. Sometimes I buy a foundation that's light, sometimes I have it that's dark. That way I kind of have both. So let's go ahead and see how this is when I swatch it on the back of my hand. It has a little pump, which is nice. Oh, that was way too much for a swatch. Ah, I need to wipe some off. So here's the foundation. I'm going to blend it in. I don't know if you guys can see any difference in the camera, but... I would say it's very, it has like a hydrating feel. I feel like maybe because the concealer is in there, it doesn't feel dry, it feels very smooth and I like that. But I wouldn't call this full coverage because I don't know that you guys can see it and I'll show you a close up, but you can still see those neon eyeliners underneath. So it's not really that full, especially because those lines were faint to begin with. It has a very pretty finish though. I'm excited to play around with that one and I'll have to let you guys know what I think about it as I keep going. Okay, so the next place that I went to was Walmart and I actually didn't go there to shop for anything. I ordered something online and then was picking it up at their in-store pickup so that you didn't have to pay for shipping. And of course I was like, oh, let me just go check over by the makeup aisle. Big mistake, 
Should never have done that. And I usually don't buy that much makeup from Walmart, but they had all those items that I was talking about that I couldn't find in Walgreens. I went in planning on spending nothing, and I left for the whole bag of makeup. Yikes. So first I just picked up some pointed end Q-tips. Next, I saw this at Walmart and I had never seen it before. I know that Sigma and a bunch of other companies have different products so that you can wash your makeup brushes on. I usually use the method where I just use my cleaning chemicals and then swirl the brush around on my hand until the water runs clear. But I saw this for only $14 and I had to pick it up. So it is made to clean your brushes. It's supposed to fit in the palm of your hand easily, just like I'm holding this box. And then it has different sized bumps on it. Maybe I should take it out and show you. So this is called the Real Techniques Brush Cleansing Palette. So it's actually really neat. It's made of like a silicone, I think. And it has a little handle on the back so you can hold this in your hand. And basically when you're washing your brushes, you just swirl them around on this thing. Now what's really cool about it is it has different types of grooves and bumps on it. And that's based on the size of your brush. So if you have a large brush, you're supposed to use the larger bumps a medium brush in the middle and smaller brushes at the very top as you can see. So this I'm excited to try out because I have never had a type of mat to clean my brushes on. I just used my hand and I figured for $14 this would be really nice to try out and see kind of if that works better for me. It also came with brush cleansing gel. This is like a sample size. I do believe that they sell this on their own as well. So I'll have to check that out too. Holy camole, I forgot how much I bought. Nothing new but had to stock up. Walmart now carries the Ardell Double Up Double Wispies, which are my favorite eyelashes. I feel like they are glamorous if you need a glamorous look, or you can play it down and use it for a really natural look at the same time. But the double ones just are so much more va va boom, and that's what I like. So these are my favorite. They're only for something at Walmart, so pick some up and try it out if you haven't already. And then I just bought a couple Wet n Wild products because I did have a subscriber write on one of my videos saying that she's really into Wet n Wild products lately and she wanted to see me do a full face of Wet n Wild. I don't think I have enough Wet n Wild products to cover my entire face with every step that I do in my makeup application. So I figured if I just buy a little bit at a time, I will be able to do that. Shout out to my subscriber. You know who you are. I haven't forgot about you. So I purchased the Wet n Wild Cover All Primer. And I feel like this looks very similar to Smashbox, so I don't know if it's a type of dupe or not, but it says that it is a magic potion that refines pores, fills fine lines, brightens complexion, and even skin tone, which is everything that I need. So I'm excited to try this. Only $4, I believe, for that or something. And then I also bought the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I was reading the other language on the other side. Might be easier on this side. Photo Focus Setting Spray. So this is a very small bottle and actually there's not very much liquid in it. So I don't know if it's actually worth the price by the time you think about it being $4 and something and you only get 1.52 fluid ounces. Not sure if that's a good deal or not, but I do want to try it out and see if it's a good setting spray or not. The Walmart near me is the only store that I know of that carries the Hard Candy brand. So I found this and I figured I would try it out. It is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Eye Brightening Concealer. So that is what it looks like. I got it in light, which was the lightest shade that they had. It says it has 10 benefits in one. Reduces puffiness, diffuses shadows, softens wrinkles, even skin tone, eliminates dark circles, blurs lines, brightens, conceals, corrects, lifts. That's a lot of S's. Made me feel like I was gonna mess up. So I bought this concealer to use for my under eyes so that I can brighten it up a little bit. That's a look that I really love and I'm excited to try this one out. Then I bought a few different nail polishes. I'm going in a weird order, but I feel like I'm going kind of the things that I'm least excited all the way to my most exciting ones, so bear with me. But I bought three nail polishes. First, I bought the NYC Shine In A Minute. And I already bought the NYC In A New York Minute Clear Nail Polish as a top coat because it dries very fast. And I went back to buy a new one and for some reason I couldn't find it, but I did see this one. I'm not sure if they changed the name of it or not, but I think this is the same thing because the color is in Grand Central Station, which is the exact same color that the In A New York Minute is in too. So I think it's the same thing. I bought it as a replacement, so we will see. And the other two were just colors that I saw and I was like, Ugh, I don't have a color like that and that is so pretty so I couldn't resist. OPI of course is an amazing brand especially for nail polish. So this is the color that I got. This is in the color Shorts Story. I think this is the cutest bubblegum pink color and I don't have a color like this especially for summer and spring so I'm going to try this out. OPI never disappoints. And the other one that I bought, I actually don't own any nail polishes by Salon Perfect. This is my first one. And I think this is just gorgeous, especially for summer. 
It is called Bermuda Baby, and it's kind of like a teal and then blue at the same time. It has that sheen to it, kind of like a reflective metallic look. And I know right now you guys are probably thinking, okay, you're showing us nail polish, you're acting super excited, and look at those ratchet chip nails that you got on you. I know, I cannot keep my nails nice for longer than like three days. And I don't know what it is, but no matter if I get shellac or I do them myself, they always chip. And I don't know what I do. Apparently I'm really harsh on them. And I try to keep them done for almost every YouTube video, but it gets really, really tiring painting your nails like every two or three days. So I'm slacking, I know. But I needed to get some videos filmed so I can get them up for you guys. So I apologize. Okie doke. Moving along. I've heard a couple people talk about this next product, but I haven't heard as much hype as I have with the foundation. But this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour Palette. So it's a contour and highlighting palette, and this one is in the light color. So that is what the packaging looks like. I'll go ahead and open it up. It does come with a little brush. I think this is meant to help you do your contour. Not sure if I'll use it or not, but that's really nice that it comes with it. And there you have your contour and your highlight shade. I'm excited to try this one out because the contour is a very cool tone brown, which a lot of drugstore contour palettes that I've found are a little bit more on the warm side, so they really don't work for me for contouring. But this one I think might really work, and the highlight is a very, very pretty sheen color. So I'll go ahead and swatch these on the back of my hand. So here's the contour shade. Maybe. I feel like I can't see it at all. E. Well guys, this might be a dead. I'm trying over and over and you can't even see. So there's my finger. Obviously has product on it. And then I swatch it. And you barely see anything. Man, that's a little disappointing. I thought this was going to be really good. Let's try the highlight. Okay, that one shows up a little better. So you can see the highlight there shining a little bit. And that one's right there. I don't know, we'll have to see how this works on my face, but I'm a little nervous about that contour shade. And then I'm really excited that I found one of my other four items at Walmart, and it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. A lot of people are talking about this, and honestly, I have a combination skin, so sometimes it's dry in the winter, sometimes it's oily in the summer, so I kind of can go both ways with my foundation. I already own the matte one of this, and I'm not over the top excited about it. I mean, it's all right, but I don't think I would repurchase it. So I'm excited to play with this one and I'll go ahead and show you the swatch on my hand because when I did it in the stores, it looked really good on my skin. This one I also struggled with trying to decide what color. I went with the shade 202 Creamy Natural just because I feel that one is closer to my natural skin tone and I want to be able to do both whether I'm self tanned or not. It comes out a little watery and then when you rub it in, it blends very nicely. So this one is looking a little bit pale on my skin right now. That's because I am self tan so keep that in mind. But for me, I feel like I'd rather go with a lighter foundation than darker because you can always darken up your face easily with bronzer. You can't really lighten it if your foundation is too dark. So I like to go with the safe side. So it's not really much to see, but I can tell you that this is very smooth. It makes my skin feel hydrated and I like that. It is looking a little bit cakey on my hand, but a lot of things swatch weird on my hand. So this is definitely one of the items that I'm going to do a worth the hype video on and I will let you guys know my full review once I've had time to try it out. So keep a lookout for that one coming soon. Last but not least is the fourth item that I was looking for. So I finally got my hands on all of them and these are the Maybelline Color Jolt Lip Paints. I think these are so cute and I'm excited to see if these are like an OCC lip tar or if they're more of a consistency of the LA Girl Glaze Lip Paints or like a Too Faced lipstick. I did not buy all the colors, but I did wanna buy a decent amount so that I can show you guys a swatch video of them. I am going to be doing a separate video based on these, so I don't wanna swatch them all for you right now but I promise I'm going to. A lot of people are excited about these. So I'll show you the colors that I bought and then keep a lookout for that video where I do swatch them and let you guys know what I think about the product. This is the only red shade that I bought because I feel like I just don't pull off red lipstick as well as a lot of people do, but they do have a darker red shade in this, like your more classic red, and they also have one that is a little bit more orange tone. I bought the one that's the bright red and this is called Talk Back Red. So that is what it looks like up close. Also a red type of shade that I bought was this maroonish color and I think this is going to look really pretty in fall. This one is called Berry Naughty. 
I'm gonna play around a lot with this one and I'm just now getting comfortable with playing with those dark lip colors. So this is gonna be a fun one for me. I also decided to go a little crazy and buy a little more adventurous of a color. This is the color Violet Rebel and that is the perfect name for it. I think this is definitely gonna make you look like a rebel because it's a bold lip color. This is such a gorgeous plum purple color, so I cannot wait to swatch this one for you guys. So the next one is something that I always reach for. That is my Play It Safe color, and that is a nude with a hint of pink or mauve. This is called Never Bear. And I think that's a really good description because although it's a nude, you're not really bare because it does have a hint of color to it, so. Catchy, I see what you did there, Maybelline. I feel like this one is for sure going to be my favorite and most used, but we'll see. And the last one I feel like is a darker, more mature version of that one I just showed you. It is called Stripped Down, and it is the same type of nude mauve shade, but it's a little bit darker. Now I did say that was the last of those colors, and it is the last of the colors, but I bought two of these that were right next to it. When I first thought of the color jolts, I thought they would be shiny on their own, and then I saw this sitting next to it, which says Maybelline Shine Shot Glassy Shine Lip Top Coat. And I thought, hmm, maybe they're not as shiny as I think. So I went ahead and bought it anyways. Another $8 that I may or may not need. I hope I do. <laughs> so I feel better about spending it. But I think this is going to be really pretty for those lipsticks just to put on top and make them into a gloss. I feel like I'm a glossy person. I've bought a lot of the liquid lipsticks in the matte lipsticks. And I just don't feel myself. I think I just like a gloss. So this is going to be coming in handy whether I use it with the color jolts or with something else. I know I'm going to like it. And this one really was interesting to me. It caught my eye and it's called the Maybelline Shine Shot Prismatic Lip Top Coat. And this one looks so interesting. I'll show you a close up in a second, but basically it's exactly what it says. It's prismatic. So I think it's going to give your lips a really nice sheen while also changing the color depending on how the light is hitting your lips. So I don't know if you guys were really able to see the dimension in that, but it just has these little specks of color in there that I think are going to look so gorgeous over any lip color that I use it with. This is really interesting to me, and they did a good job putting these next to the color jolts because I probably would have never bought them on their own, but because they were sitting there I thought, oh, I gotta have them because it's for the collection. I'm super excited about those. I'm definitely going to have a video coming out reviewing all of those. It'll be another worth the hype type of video. So keep an eye open for those videos. I'm really, really excited about these new products, so I can't wait to share my thoughts and reviews with you guys. If you don't want to miss any of my videos coming out, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button below. It'll notify you every time a new video comes out, and you'll never miss one. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye! Focus on me. Train! Again. Come on, hair, get it together. Oh my gosh, there's another train. How many trains can go by in like two hours? <sighs> I'm not liking it. Because I already have Bella. I keep blanking. It's really rattling around. I have a spinny chair now for filming, and I don't know if it's a good thing. Alright, back to work. Eliminates dark sickle sickles for under eyes, and it's supposed to... Stop. Why won't you focus? And they had one that was a little bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Orange.